Alright, welcome back to episode 2, and let's just jump right into this. Uh, yeah, luckily. Man, that was some real shit. Even worse was that effing... <sighs> so that's what she's really like, huh? <sighs> How about you, Joker? She really whacked you good. It was nothing. Well, that's good at least. Damn that, Alice. She's top shit. I'm gonna be so pissed off until we finally get back at her. So, where are we now? Are we in just a trash heap? Looks like we wound up underground. I'd say it's some sort of garbage dump. For now, let's just focus on getting out of here. This place is disgusting. Who just dumps people into garbage like that? Let's find a way out as soon as possible. We don't know what we'll run into either. Let's keep an eye on how we're holding up as we press on. Alright. So we gotta investigate the area. <laughs> this place is full of garbage. Where are we anyways? That's a good question, Ryuji. Mm. I don't know, but we should look for an exit. Way ahead of you guys. What the fuck is this? This looks like some sort of container. What the fuck is this? What is happening right now? What the fuck? What is this place? I don't know, man. Who are you? Who are you? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. What does that even mean? Yeah, what is humanity's companion? What does that mean? Correct. That means I make for a good companion to people. Oh, okay. Are you human? Do you have a name? That's aggravating answer. Joker. Okay, I memorized it. Joker, do you know where this place is? Hey, I just heard something! Uh, I mean, who are you? What is it, Joker? Uh... Can I help you? A raccoon? <laughs> try a cat! Wait! Don't try a cat! Make up your mind. Anyway, who's this? A real funky getup. Humanity's companion? <laughs> uh, companion? Like your. I am Sophia, humanity's companion. You jumped down here that line's that gonna get old you? after a while. Hmm. I just learned that I have no memories, so I do not know. Wait, what? Hey, you two, come here for a second. Who is that Joker? She said she doesn't have any memories. She came out of a giant box. What kind of crazy shit is that? Way too weird. She doesn't seem to be a shadow, though. She doesn't even seem hostile. Well, whatever she is, we still gotta find a way out. Nobody's solving any problems in this dump, that's for sure. In trouble? Whoa! Where did you- If you're in trouble, I can help. I am humanity's companion. My purpose is to be helpful to humans. So, you want to help us out? Correct. What is your problem? Well, uh... What, what is your lost. problem? I guess we're looking for a way out of here? A way? We've got a long list of problems. Will reaching the surface solve your problem of a way out of here? Uh, yeah. It would? Okay, I've got it. I'm searching for 
a way out of here. Well, hey, don't go out there alone. What now, Joker? Can't just leave her here. Right. She could be attacked by shadows any second now. You sure about that? Still super suspicious. But I guess we shouldn't ditch her either. Hey, hey, you better watch out for shadows. Oh crap, too late. Get behind us, Sophia. Let's do this. Where the hell they come from? Nobody's coming for us if we go yet. Easy. Light work. Whew. You got through that somehow. Sophia, right? You heard her anything? No problems here. Why was I attacked? What are with those hearts without reason in her hair? Behavior. Uh, not exactly sure how to explain it, but those guys are called shadows. And we are the phantom thieves. We're considered dangerous rebels by the ruler of this place. Intruders Why do you say thieves so quietly? The phantom thieves. That's really cool. That's what you have to say? Compliment, I guess. Anyway, there is a shit ton of shadows around here. You want to help us? Then let's all go together. I can find a way out of here. You only need to wait for me. You're actually going to help us out? I have been helping you this entire time. Joker helped me first. Now I will be helpful for him. Use me as needed, Joker. <laughs> All right, you're weird, but I guess you really do want to help. It's your yeah. call, Joker. You're one to talk about being weird. Oh, uh, let's do this together, man. Okay, that sounds nice, Joker. I never noticed Joker's Along boots were like that. Hat and the skeleton. Wait, I'm not a skeleton. <laughs> Skull short for skeleton. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. He's actually a raccoon. Joker! I'm Skull. Don't screw it up. And I'm Mona, okay? Don't you forget it. What has upset you? Alright. Let's be careful. We'd be fine, but we don't want to endanger Sophia. Try staying out of sight. Why would I stay out of sight when I could just demolish anybody I come in contact with? Is this where we learn she can okay. actually fight? I've got it. Huh? You got what? Wait, what the hell? What is she? Is she meant to be like an AI or something? Or an eye, as Ryuji would call Yo, it. Wait up! <sighs> Who are you? Intruders! <laughs> Nobody's scared of you, Jack Lanterns. What is happening? That's pretty cool though. Does she have yo-yos? They even have him speaking more. Like the protagonist, he's actually like talking during fight scenes and stuff. That's pretty cool. He's mostly silent okay, in the original fun. Persona 5. Wait, wait, wait. You're so effing 
too strong. You should have told us right away you could fight. But you never asked. Not just that, but your clothes. What in the world? It's completely different from our own transformations. I copied what you do and ended up like this. <laughs> Looking sharp. Dude, that ain't the issue. More importantly, uh, are you some kind of persona user? Persona? The things you were using during the fight. Those boxes flying around. That was a weapon. I needed it to fight. <laughs> Sophia. Just, just completely what clueless. Who are you? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Yeah, of course you are. Heard that one. There's still just too much we don't know. But we don't have the time to figure it out now either. Getting out of here needs to be our number one priority. Yeah, we really don't need her getting any more attention from the enemy. Hey, let's just have her help us out. Considering what we just saw, I don't think we'll have a problem. Agreed. We have no idea what's ahead of us. The more firepower, the better. Can you lend us a hand, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. We'll be counting on right. you, I guess. You'll be counting on me. Well, let's move. Lead the way, Shorty. Understood. She does seem to be like practically invincible already. Oh, right. Keep track of how you're holding up. Why would I need healing items? Again, I'm like fucking invincible. Not sensing any shadows. Check anything suspiciously. You never know what you might find. I got a cute wallet. Cool, I guess. Oh, I can double jump. That's nice. What? That's a f okay. I guess just a floating eye in the on the wall. Shadows incoming! A whole load of them. Get ready! There are more ways to target an enemy's weakness than skills. Of yeah, I know. Take this! scared of the fairies unless it's like the two fairies from Hellboy those things were terrifying now I'm even more dependable were you ever dependable in the first place cool what's that I think I just special attack the wall, so I'm clearly doing well. Hey Joker, think you could find your way up there? Yeah, fuck ladders. Just jump up there, I guess. I saw that item. Wait, shadows ahead. We haven't spotted us yet. Should I wipe them out for you? Here's a tip on us phantom thieves. We avoid charging headfirst into battle. That is not the case. Let's try those stairs for now. Morgana clearly never learned anything from the first game. Or the last like couple encounters. <laughs> a dirty phone case. Oh, who the fuck wants a dirty phone case? Joker, you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh. Oh, cool. oh wow. Using this environment. That's so satisfying. Oh, that's adorable. Don't celebrate just yet. Aren't we in a dead end? 
I like her eyes are reacting. If we climb there, that's cool. We can proceed. Guess there's no other option. What does that say? It says welcome. Welcome to the what does that say? No shadows at the moment. Let's keep going. Welcome to Alice's Wonderland. Combat is so satisfying. What the hell is this about? Oh, that's that's cool. He seals a shadow's form and power into a mask, turning it into a persona. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I'll be able to collect a bunch of personas like in Persona 5 or if this is just like a limited amount or something. Persona. So how does this work? Pixie. Or set. Pixie. Or set. Pixie. Oh, okay. Got electricity and healing. Curse damage and physical damage. Pixie. Or set. Okay. I'm gonna try and use her for this next fight. Enemy ahead. Joker, try that persona you just got. Come. I already figured out all of this. Take Thanks. It. Oh, cool, and he just tells you the weakness right away. That's nice. scared that's awesome take your heart uh, perform a follow-up after a Y attack or mid-air gun attack okay Sorry if I'm not talking too much, I'm trying to concentrate and I'm also kind of a little out of it. It's like 11 o'clock at night right now. Oh, finish your move. Get wrecked. Show's over, man. Easy fight. All right, a new skill. How are you holding up? Make sure you heal yourself when you need it. Sure. Persona! Hers, Jack Lantern! Come! Pixie! Jack Lantern! Got the Jack Lantern. No What's going uh, on? Uh temporary de temporarily decreases defense for an area of foes. That could come in handy. Wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Of course I am. 
so easy to lose track of which way you're supposed to go after the combat scenes. Oh, we finally made it out. This is still the metaverse, though. Stay on guard. Please wait. What is it, Sophia? Find something? Uh... I have found it. A way out of here is nearby. For real? Wait, how'd you figure that out? I suddenly knew it. Like... <laughs> Seriously? The exit is close. Wait, wait, Sophia! Oh, seems she's a fan of Naruto the way she runs. What is her deal? Well, I don't know, but we need definitely to a weeb. Is this the way out you mentioned, Sophia? Yes, this is what I had detected previously. Uh, and it is? It's fine. It leads outside. That's not a good answer. It leads outside? Everything will get all... For a moment. But then you'll be out of here. What the hell kind of explanation is that? How do you know we'll be okay? Trust me, Joker. She might as well try it. I'm glad you're willing to trust <clears throat> me. <clears throat> Sorry. Looks like we've only got one option here. I keep clearing my throat. I don't Ain't know if that's even too? getting picked up. I am... What should I do? Let's just all go back together, I guess. Joker's got the right idea, Sophia. This place is crawling with shadows. Staying here would only end badly for you. But... Jeez, what's it gonna take? Doing. Okay. Guess we're kidnapping her. We don't leave folks behind to die. Just get in the damn portal with us. So you want me to come with you? Oh, okay. Well, here goes. One, two. She sounds so worried. Oh, there's the acid again. This is the real world. Where'd she go? Yep. Looks like we're back, all right. You have successfully returned from the jail. Welcome back. Jail? Hang on. Sophia! Where'd she go? Could she not follow us through? I don't think I'm seeing her. Hey, Shorty! Get your ass over here! that in public, idiot! Need something? Was that Sophia's voice? Huh. Where is she? I'm in front of you. Inside Joker's phone. Ah, uh, so she is an AI. Oh, look at that icon. That's adorable. Head. Yo! Whoa, she just popped up! Oh, did you change your outfits? Is that really you, Sophia? Yep, I'm really me, but... Who are you? I'm still Mona. I just look like a cat in this world. Mona? You That's are really Mona? interesting. So, you really weren't a raccoon. I already told you <laughs> that. <laughs> Sorry to let you down. Wait, I kind of you on his phone now? actually played into that. Why am I? Because I am an AI. Knew it. An AI? A, uh, uh, yeah, not an I, Reed. Right? You Futama fucking idiot. All about. She's an artificial intelligence. For real? Glad you're safe. I have your phone to thank for that. I was thrown into endless light. When I tracked down Joker's scent, I ended up here. His scent? Who are you, Organa? Is this coming across as like a FaceTime, or am I just talking to so my phone like a AI, fucking weirdo? She turned into data when she came to this world. That mean you're living in his phone? It is somewhat small, but it's cozy and has everything I need. Care to join me? <laughs> I, I, I don't even have a handle. 
Anyway, it's a big relief knowing you made it out. So of many of his team. lines are so quiet. Hey, but what what about all those other people we saw in there? Are they still, you know? I don't know, but I seriously doubt normal folks would be able to fight against that. Let's rescue them. I get what you're saying. It's what we do. We charge in without a plan. We're just going to wind up captured too. Again. A new part of the metaverse has its own version of a palace that we access through Emma. It even has a ruler shadow. What Odds is, are what? that something horrible is happening right now. Uh, let's just head back to LeBlanc. You're right. Talking about this here is no good. Let's get to LeBlanc. We'll hammer out our course of action with everyone there. And what about her? It appears I cannot exit this phone. When I came to this world, I hope I don't I drop my phone the then. And learned a great many things, but my memory is still erased. I also found no means of data recovery. Furthermore, I am stuck here. What should I do next? You're coming with us. That sounds good. Also, introducing Sophia to everyone else will probably make the explanation easier. I uh, wonder how that's gonna go over. Especially when they hear all the palace type shit. There are more phantom thieves? Yeah, we got ourselves a whole gang. One of them will probably flip her wig over you too. Okay. What's the main for That sounds pretty fun. I see. You're saying you entered the metaverse with Alice Hiragi's invitation and met a sentient AI named Sophia, who is now in your phone. When you put it that way, you make it sound crazy. But I'm telling you, it's the truth. You gotta believe us. See, even he says so. We've already gone through crazy enough shit. None of us would make up something like this. However, there's a chance this Sophia may know more than we do about this situation. She's still with you, right? Could we speak with her? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sophia can add that could help us figure out what's happening. Could you come join us, Sophia? Yo, Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Whoa, what is that? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. That's really Sophia? Wow. I can't believe this is happening. Is this some sort of hideout? There seem to be a number of phantom thieves present. <laughs> She's Why are you singing? to herself? What in heaven? Such an adorable design. You feel the charm, the pain, the tenacity within. Wait, what? <laughs> so, yeah, this is Sophia. Look at that phone stand. Nice meeting you. Okay, an AI with genuine will is just way too advanced. Right? We couldn't believe it either. Care to introduce yourselves? Uh, that's right, we're meeting for the first time. Nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm Makoto Nijima. My name's Haru Okumura. We're both college students, but I also help up with my family's company. I'm on Takamaki. I'm a third year in high school, <clears throat> and I do some modeling too. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. I continuously strive to master the arts as we know them. <laughs> so, uh, I'm next, huh? I'm Futaba Sakura, and I kind of suck at socializing, but I want to be friends and stuff. Ah, uh, you did great, Futaba. In fact, I bet you and Sophia will get along real awesome. Makoto, Haru, I would assume so. An, Yusuke, and Futaba. I'll remember that. You all have much more normal names than Joker. We skip that part. Uh, so, we're the Phantom Thieves, but we call each other by code names in the metaverse, so our enemies won't discover our real identities. Code names. My name's actually Ryuji Sakamoto. The cat's Morgana, and he's. Okay, I'll remember that. Um, so you really are a computer program? Correct. Would you like to see my source code? Oh yes, yes, yes. Show me, show me. <laughs> Get down a notch, okay? You can see it after we get through these questions. First off, why were you in the metaverse? I do not know, because my memory is gone. 
Could you have the AI version of amnesia or something? That seems difficult to recover from. Uh, if your data just crashed, I could take a look and try restoring it. It is impossible. I have already tried every potential solution. <laughs> yeah, based on your specs, I guess it's not surprising you already thought of that. Can you recall anything at all? Only the command I received at initialization. You don't sound too sure of that. Be humanity's companion. That was the command I was issued. I remember nothing else. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't let it bother you too much, Sophia. I was in the exact same situation when I first met these guys. Thank you. I've still got a shit ton of questions about Sophia, but we have some real work to do first. Right. The metaverse. And what we saw. From what you saw, that means Alice Hiragi has a palace in Shibuya, right? Yeah. She was calling herself the Queen, being all high and mighty, ordering shadows around. All that kind of shit. We're gonna There's take no her down. that was the cognitive world, but something about it was awfully different from the palaces. What is it? Real humans were being attacked by shadows. There were people inside the palace? You mean they had access to the Metaverse Navigator? But that disappeared for all of us. I know, right? That's You mean Emma? Yep. For some reason, this thing worked just like the MetaNav did. We accidentally entered Alice's Emma keyword and got sent to the Metaverse. Wait! That means Emma is dangerous! That you can just uninstall it. The MetaNav didn't work like that. There's one more thing that's been bothering me. When we got back to this world, Emma said we returned from the jail. Jail? The only thing we figured out is that this new place is called a jail. So, could you guys check out the palace, or jail, or whatever with us? Good point. There's no progressing any further unless we That's see That's interesting. I'm also having a hard time buying Alice as the ruler of a palace. Are we going to scout it out together? I think the sooner the better. Is it even safe for us to enter, though? What if we all just end up captured? There were no enemies in the vicinity of the exit. It's fine to enter through there. Well, are we going to head back to that place tomorrow? Sounds like a plan. Right, we've got our mission. Very well, I look forward to seeing this jail. Let's say we meet at the connecting bridge in Shibuya. But first... I get to see Sophia's code, you promised, remember? Oh, this is gonna <laughs> be the info dump of a lifetime. I promise, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Are you she laughs like a witch. Wise? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, at least we know she's got computer skills. Ah, man. This is what happens when we get back together. Oh, talk about an ass busting summer vacation. <laughs> huh? What is it? What about our life-changing Kyoto excursion? Oh yeah, are we still going on that trip? Extravaganza? You mean our camping trip? It looks like we'll just have to postpone it. Why? Metaverse. I'm about to slice you to ribbons. Haha. <laughs> you can't slice the Metaverse, dude. Just save it for the shadows. We really ought to have Futaba poke around and Sophia once we have the time for it. Yeah, we really should, I guess. So you... What? Hmm, I see. Those are pretty cool stickers. On our laptop. What? But how? I mean, with this over here... Damn. So that's it. So, what do you think, Futaba? How's Sophia's code look? Well, her programmer is a genius. No doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code, and not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Whew, that's a serious program. Yeah, I don't seriously. understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Old hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It 
it's a saying people don't really use anymore. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? Well, Brad, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. You've got this. Mm -hmm. I'll crack it yet. Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. She made like a tree? It's only in moments like these you realize idioms really don't make sense to somebody who doesn't understand them yet. We said goodnight to Futaba and then headed to bed ourselves. Boy, was that a hell of a day. Goddamn right it was. I imagine something like this would happen. All we do is get ready. Yep, that's right. If we went into this half cocked, we'd be disgraces of fancy feet. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? Oh, she's just like we Alexa. We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery. Says the talking cat. Uh, good point. Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... inarguably true. Aw, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Don't You've gone and so upset her. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... <laughs> uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Heart? Uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them. I guess. The human heart. Look, just... just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay, that is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep, so long as it's good with our loot. Of course. Thank you. I don't know why it Leader, wouldn't be. Boss, Captain? Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Morgana. New day. We went back to our former hideout in Shibuya to go check out the jail together. Great. Everyone see it. We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this we have many a choice. A time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bring it. We're very short on she intel, sounds so, so uncomfortable. we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um, no. We just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. Yeah, All seriously, left, just choose our how much time have we spent in the metaverse already? There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Now let's do this thing. Here we go again. Well, 
Did we make it? Oh, your phantom thief attire. Yeah, you too. Oh, I've forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Look, it's Beauty Thief. My name is Beauty Thief. Let's not fool around here. <laughs> I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. We Why are they acting later. like it does? It wasn't we that long ago that we were doing this in the first so game. This is the jail. Just what is that building? This Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out Where's of the Where's Sophia? Chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? The hell was up with that? That may have been a desire. There she is. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Where did she get that from? Holy crap, an actual AI in human form! Wow, you're so cute, Sophia! Such a fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. Ugh. Never seen an outfit like that. That's such a weird thing to say. Blue thing? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Uh, no blue thing. By the by, how does age work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, Down with I the speculate monarchy. the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make Turn sense. This into a when we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, That's what I meant to say. but these matter. desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things, what use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped could tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? Couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow's the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. What do you mean what are shadows? She just knows. She literally just talked about them. Selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No, that was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the so story So what are we going to do, just stalk her? we make any real moves, or we'll just be doing damage. Just look at it. Yeah. We're gonna catch some seas, man. It's late. Tired. No, uh. It's looking at our victims, I guess. We can try, but you really think we can just stumble on them like that? Maybe no, you're right. Into people who That's have changed good point. recently. We could get some leads. What say we get into that once we're out of here? Okay, let's get out of here. 
That was a quick visit. of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. <sighs> I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. Oh yeah, I forgot that you were like actually kind of famous. For real? Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show. She didn't even tell us that. She so just I did all this behind her back. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. Or was this before she even knew? After making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah, way to go, Lady Anne. But I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. Why are y'all looking at me? I think I was just volunteered. Oh, that settles that. We're counting on you. Of course. Shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. What? How exactly? What do you want from me? Try hitting on her. What? Idiot. Her manager will be right there too. She's not gonna pay us any attention anyway. Why would you but think that's even a good idea you. anyway? We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. This is a ridiculous plan. Let's go. Looks like everyone's out gathering intel already. Let's not fall behind. Gathering intel. Just gotta talk to people. Interesting. <laughs> Too many people can't do it, want to go home. Yeah, are you okay, Futaba? I thought you said school had gotten you used to crowds. I underestimated the summer vacation edition of Shibuya. The swarm of partiers is just too much for me. And even ignoring that, going up to people I don't know and eavesdropping on them or pumping them for intel is way out of my league. Don't stress yourself true. out over it, man. Leave this to us. This should be helpful. I can lend you a hand for top, but we can both lock down the online front. That's a good idea. Nice recruiting for top, but we're kind of right. Thanks for talking to me, guys. I'm feeling a little more confident out here now. Oh, hey, why don't you take this for helping me out? Ooh, what are you giving me? That's not a bad idea, I guess. Alice is more popular than I had imagined. I wonder, I, I wouldn't be able to avoid hearing people speak of her even if I wanted to. So Alice in Wonderland. I admit it's an intriguing and visually striking space to work within as an artist. Yeah. True. So. Hmm? Oh, so hot out. You ever wonder why we have to wear jackets in this weather? Our company is so old fashioned, forcing us businessmen to wear suits. Who is saying that? found someone that was in the jail. Can you come to the alley behind the airsoft shop? Sure. How's it going, Anne? I knew people went crazy for her stuff, but this is something else. 
I keep hearing stories about relationships going south, even folks ending up hospitalized for exhaustion. And Alice's name always comes up. Can she really have something to do with all of it? But how and why? I guess there's no point getting stressed out over it. Oh, I know. Are you hungry? No good ideas on an empty stomach, you know. I'm gonna grab a crepe and start the brainstorm. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's a bit much. Alice, of course, I've heard of her. Everyone in class has, especially the boys. They love her. My friend's boyfriend even went as far as breaking off their relationship, all because he took a sudden interest in Alice. I know she's cute and all, but cute enough to leave somebody behind? I mean, you just not might, you know, hey. might just not be it. Check out the guy with the brown hair. Wasn't he at Alice's thing? Hmm? I guess. I don't remember what any of them looked like. There was like eight people there. I just lent you money for all your Alice obsessed bullshit. I know, but there's a new Alice original coming out, and I really, really need it. Like, I won't even be able to think or breathe if I don't get it. <clears throat> that guy with the brown hair, it's the same guy we saw before, right? Dude, why are you suddenly obsessed over some random ass idol in the first place? Are you serious, though? You actually went to a loan shark? I can't believe you. So he's borrowing money from shady lenders only to get shady merchandise in return? Why would you even do this? Even if you're obsessed, it's not like it's gonna benefit her because it's all like shady knockoff shit. Damn it! I'll do anything for you, buy your fancy jewelry, pick the finest restaurants, I'll sign my life over to you if I could. Just completely lost it. <clears throat> okay, nearly done. Who texted me? New phone, who dis? Seems there's a store on Central Street that carries clothing from Alice's brand, perhaps we can gain some information there. I feel like everybody who hates her is just like a jealous person so far. At least that's kind of how it's coming across. Which shop am I supposed to? Is it this one? <clears throat> Welcome. Alice Haragi, ooh, do you mean that Alice clothing line? Why we, yes, we do carry it, but I'm so sorry we're all sold out. We only put them out 10 minutes ago, but the fans came in and swiped them all up. I'm so sorry really? they missed it. Let me sure remember this, okay. Well, I guess we're done investigating, so that's good. Happy and hippie? Is that what that says? How's the information search going? Why don't we meet up and share what we've what gathered so do? far? Mm, Makoto's got a good point. Should we gather everyone up? Let's That's do it. Alright, then let's go meet up at the connecting bridge. So, how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means, the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. The, the weird thing is that that's not out of place for Japan. <laughs> that's... Hmm. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice-related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some okay, reports of Alice fans far. straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but this seems so much worse than that. 
maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm hmm We have to help! Not necessarily considering other it people like have been, been in the metaverse. Intel on Alex's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? I feel like that just goes to show that more people could be doing this. Uh, that's right. Yep, let's break for today let's and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on. I made my way back to LeBlanc. Another day down. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. Mm, boss, this curry is fantastic. Oh, Who are you? Thanks. Is this gonna be another one of those bad guys who are in the restaurant so the whole fucking this is time? Going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? <laughs> Quiet on the set. <laughs> well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. We're the only ones Should talking. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No prob. Are you telling me nobody's gonna comes. call us out on this? Miss Alice on the set! Holy crap. Oh, she really is adorable. Trotting back from commercial. Back in five, four, three. And now. On to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. She's got way too sure much going on on her outfit. Busy these days, haven't you? It's like way too it's overwhelming. Only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. I feel like, yeah, like we can't is tell. a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't... <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then... One day, I saw the most beautiful dress in the shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating rumors? Uh, 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 what? What the uh, fuck is... <laughs> what is that about? Uh, what's going on? I don't get it. Straight up turned into like a zombie. A scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, Alice... I oh, I love you, Alice. Please spend your life with me. Oh what? God. <laughs> hey, what is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Something needs uh, to get her out of really there. Out of the blue. All right, stop it. 
I mean it. I can't live without you. But what the hell? And what about me, asshole? What? Is this Ooh. Right? Those Some two drama are on the set. Already, right? Oof. Wow, what a train wreck. I That's can't believe this. Awful. Cut the commercial! Now! Yeah, well, yeah hurry up. I'm you. Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? They canceled filming on the spot and escorted everyone off the set. What? Of course they did. That was actually live on TV, right? Ooh, can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then. Sorry about that pop up if it shows up. That host had his desire taken by Alice? Maybe. Like, what kind of professional host would do that on live TV? True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like, he wasn't even there. Someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice, I see. How do I, I get really away with just carrying it. a cat on my back all Amazing day? Amazing as always, Lady On. Like nobody's but gonna try and kick me out or anything. He's not very well hidden. Uh, just taking people's desires. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted too. I read about her in a magazine once, and I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. <laughs> Man, that was great. That was... Miss Atlas, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> what is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why, but after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? Has this not affected him uh, at all please. yet? I'm sorry. What is... what the hell? On set, a terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side, or are you asking to end up broken like my She's last man? Crazy. Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? What does that mean? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop. Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt Jesus, me. Jesus, man. You? Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Bravo with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, beg. Do it. Do it. I'm not going to stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out. Hey! Caught you up. Man, caught you. 4K and everything. Uh. Man, we totally. Okay, uh. Cut the statistic crap. It was way too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How 
the hell does that help? <sighs> yeah, you tell her, Anne. Oh! <laughs> we were just playing around. Weren't we? <sighs> yeah. So you'll go get the car now? Oh, hey, wait! Hang on. Uh, are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? That was a quick turnaround. <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? Uh, <laughs> My keyword is... She's trying to trick her. Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Aw, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? What is with this girl? Yeah, apologize to your manager first, maybe. Like I said, we were just playing around. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day, weren't you? We're done here. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> that's a bummer. But I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about yeah, Alice. Why would she apologize? Yeah. She did everything she was supposed it's to do. All thanks to you, Lady On. Once Lady On and had that was a books, little bit too much to walk into. And tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw. She might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Ain't it the same as with Kamoshida? That's a good point. She seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace or palace. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't that's change what I'm considering. Alice's heart. Or that's what I'm thinking about. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Because if there's no Question. treasure, like, how are Why we actually supposed to heart? deal with this situation? Why? Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. No, it's not. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. Could you imagine we if we just turned into a bunch of murderers in this game? Why not do so? Stomp all the murders in the first one and kill everybody in this one. Try the Phantom Thief Coat. I do not understand. I want to understand. But I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being in danger. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm -hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand I guess, how hearts work. Sure. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. I will 
join the Phantom Thieves. I need to Hasn't learn more she about already us joined so us? I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am um, yeah. certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. You're already one of us. Thank you. At least I thought Thank so. I wasn't. Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's blowing. Oh uh, yeah, what are we gonna call her? Let's call her Mochi. Uh, it should be a bit sweeter than that. Oh, like marshmallow or blamage. What? A uh, what? Ooh, we're doing dessert names. <coughs> How about Crocambouche? None of those make great code names or easy to yell. What if we went along the same lines we used with Mona-chan? After all, we met her inside the metaverse the same way. Like, how about Sophie? It's basically uh, her name. Yeah. I like it. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. Radical, dude. <laughs> what? Jeez, you're already more human. Did she look up all her information from like the '90s? I am constantly learning things. Thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. Don't pick up any off putting lingo, okay? Okay. Yeah, she so could learn some member. crazy shit if it's. She's mission. getting all her information from the internet. We're gonna stop Alice. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became phantom thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. You may not know the victims personally. Reflect on us poorly as phantom thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. Oh, cool. Our next step is to make the proper preparations. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shopping to you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Hey. Turn the Phantom Thieves was one thing, but never in a million years would I have expected to actually fight Alice. We have to stop here before she's past the point of no return. Let's get this taken care of so we can get on with our summer vacation. Guess so, ma'am. Is this the internal clinic you were talking about? Yeah, but there's notice here. Notice closed for the summer. I will be attending an academic conference and will be out for the summer sign physician tank to come oh man talk about bad timing at least we can still get some weapons at a wise airsoft shop right is that the shop on central street in shibuya i saw it while we were gathering information on alice yeah that's it all right either way let's head to shibuya first Go. <laughs> Guess we're going to the velvet room. Welcome to the velvet room. The gears of fate turn yet again. Bringing you close to calamity once more. While your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown, by nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed 
root shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead and watch over you through your journey. Let's get to business. Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. By offering up your personas for execution, this is once more yeah, yeah, yeah. my master's absence. I will perform the ex- Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the- However, this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. Meetings? <laughs> Soon it will all be clear. Trickster, cool. you have once again become a prisoner. Thanks for the top. Info. Unleash the chains that bind you and take back the people's hearts. Their doing so it's will surely so lead helpful. you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. I don't have a choice, do I? I'm in a jail cell. As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that address, okay. let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. Use yeah, two I know how this works. Please select the persona to acquire. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose okay. which skill to inherit. Uh. Is this the persona you'd like? Sure. Now, let us begin. Ooh. Iron Maidens. That's how they're gonna be executed? <laughs> That's rough. Cool outcome though. Impure motives are what grant me strength here. Take this mask of me. You've tapped into a new power. Okay. How much power will you add? This is what you chose. Okay. Whenever you feel the need for me, I will always. Oh, now she's just outside. Really? He's close too. <clears throat> Let's head back. I guess we're going back <clears throat> to the cafe. The airsoft shop's closed. Can be clinics shut down for summer vacation? Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. We can't just return to the metaverse defenseless. I guess we gotta find some other stores. And that seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah, check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Also, we were able to get not much really. more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. No problem. The net has it all. Could be here in like a couple days. Is there something you want? Huh? Or even what better, there's want? like right. Request anything one day you shipping. Want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. <sighs> really? Don't be ridiculous. Ah, come on, it was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so. Okay, I've got it. Please 
quickly. Hmm? You got what? <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Did you really order a gold bar? Yeah, how did that happen? So, not only was that very fast, but like, how do you have enough money to do that? <laughs> is this even legal? Of course. Wait, it is, right? Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. It's gonna be a real ass gold bar. Uh, is that real? Holy shit! What have I done? Yes, my eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. Where did the money come no from to get this? No way is that real. Wow! Now I can open my cafe early. It's like a dream. <laughs> to go to the police right away oh wait they even believe it showed up like this is this a crime it's okay everybody so we're all so all afraid right. did that solve your problem yeah how'd you do that i found an online vendor with expedited delivery time is no longer a concern but a whole gold but where'd bar? the money come from where'd you find that the dark web correct futaba Oh no. I no laws. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. Where'd we get cryptocurrency yeah, to from? Reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Oh. Sorry? I didn't get that. Send the everything back! Yeah, get a refund. <laughs> Hello? Expedited pickup! Thank you for choosing our services! I'm relieved they took it back, but uh, that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Jeez, uh, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh, come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? That's a good I've point. one's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Shall I do that? Uh, sounds great, I guess. Okay. I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Just stop committing crimes with it. Well, that was a ride. But I guess it turned out okay for us? Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. Now then. All right, well, I'm going to save this and then we'll pick up in the next video.